I had them. That was that was painful. Uh, six points down on the uh, on the opposition line. We'll come the enemy. That's a bit that's a bit harsh, isn't it? Uh, and they just couldn't get over the line. Owen Redden, very last game of rugby he's ever going to play, and he throws a fairly bad, pointless wide pass to Keith Earls. De Klerk catches him, and that's the game over. Uh, I thought Faf de Klerk was excellent. Though. That's two certain tries he's got now. So And he was great in the last game as well. So South Africa won the series thanks to him. Uh, I thought, you know, again, the Beast, very, very good in the scrum. I think Mike Ross... That might be the last we see of him. I think Ty Furlong looks so much more solid in the last couple of games. And if you've got the choice of a 35 year old or a 23 year old, you're gonna pick the younger one. That's that you know, Furlong needs games. So if he's a, if he's as good, play him all the time. Uh, but I just thought Ireland could have won all three tests, and they came so close. I thought they played a bizarrely attractive game of rugby today, but they threw the ball too much uh, they were running into each other they were passing the ball to players that didn't know they were getting the ball it felt like you know this is the only way we can play to win because we're too tired to play the other way but there was no plan to play that. there was no sort of cohesiveness to it I thought Jackson again you know he did the things he had to do very well but he uh, I think he was trying to play a game plan that maybe the rest of the team weren't sort of up to speed with Olding and Marshall were sort of simultaneously the best players on the pitch and the worst players on the pitch. Yeah, they made a lot of mistakes. Olding took through some really, really weird, massively fast, wide, forward, intercept pass. Like, what's the point? Uh, but at the same time, he caused a lot of uh, trouble. Luke Marshall made two big mistakes at the start of the game and then scored a try. And then he made a big break and then he, this pass didn't go, go to hand. It was like they were pushing to the limit of what they're capable of. Uh, I thought again, Stander and Henderson were excellent. Uh, it's disappointing they didn't attack the uh, attack the South African line out. Though Jack McGrath sacking it a couple of times was very helpful, but yeah, they should have won that series. Uh, and the next game they play is against New Zealand. Uh, that's that's not what you want. To, that's not where you want to be going now. Uh, but I think they can hold their heads up a little bit. Uh, it's not the greatest South African team in the world. Uh, oh, Peterson's try though. That's it. Excellent rugby. I thought Combrick was very good on the other wing. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is Willie LaRue. Uh, that's a red card. Like I don't I don't like the fact that it's a red card. I wish you were allowed to fairly compete for the ball in the air. But as it stands, if you go for the ball and you don't get it, and the guy lands on his uh, head or neck, it's a red card. And when, uh, you know, I think maybe the TMO needs some anatomy lessons because... The top of the back, as he described it, or the upper back or whatever, that's called the neck. Uh, O'Hara and Clear landed on his on his neck, his head, basically at the same time. That's a red card. Uh, it's, a, it's a shame. I don't like that it is, but, you know, the same thing happened to Machino yesterday. It's what happened to Payne all, those, uh, all, those time, uh, all that time ago. Same with Hogg. This is, these are the rules today. So, oh well. Uh, I'll try and do the same thing in November because I think this is going quite well. Uh, see you.